to anything Alexia. My name's Alexia and today we're gonna be looking at some creepy statues that were caught moving on camera. But if they're a statue, how were they caught moving? <gasps> Unless they were cursed or something or alive. Family, smash like on this video. Let's get this video to 8,000 likes and comment down below if you've ever seen something moving that should not have been moving. Like your peanut butter sandwich you just had for lunch. Ah. What's up, family? This year we are doing the 24 days of Lexmas. And that means we are doing one giant giveaway every single week up until December 24. This week's prize is a Nintendo Switch. So if you want to win that, all you got to do is go follow my Instagram right here and then comment on my most recent picture done. Oh yeah, and if you're not subscribed to my YouTube, you can't win either. Happy Lexmas! This is an ancient Egyptian statue called Neb Sanu, and it's located in a museum in Manchester, England. The statue just sits on a regular shelf in the museum, minding its own business. Actually, apparently not. Apparently not at all! Because this dude named Campbell Price, who works at the museum, said that he saw the statue moving! And not just moving a teeny weeny bit. Apparently the statue was doing full-on spins and twirls. Like, dude, I thought you were supposed to be Egyptian. Not a ballerina! That's the statue right there! <gasps> and it's moving! Oh. My. Gosh! And did you notice, family, how it stopped moving when the lights in the museum went off? Why did it do that? I guess if the statue's actually alive, then it gotta go to bed just like the rest of us. Let him get some rest, jeez! He clearly needs his beauty sleep. Cause if he doesn't, he's just gonna end up getting buried in the coffins like the rest of the mummies. At least he'll be in a cool pyramid, though. Epic. This is a statue of Ganesha, and it's one of the most worshipped Hindu deities in the world. And it's most known because it looks like an elephant, because it has an elephant head. Pretty cool. It's very common for people of the Hindu faith to leave offerings for Ganesha, you know, as a token of good faith. Or maybe they're just trying to give her a birthday present. Either one works. But family, something really, really crazy happened in September 1995 because a Apparently, when people brought Ganesha some more offerings, a little someone had a little milk with them. You know, like cow milk. And for some reason, this milk was around Ganesha's nose. And what do you think Ganesha did with it? She slurped that thing up like she was drinking juice out of a juice box. Like seriously, she stole the girl's milk. All in one shot too. So after this happened, obviously everybody was shocked. And then it became this huge phenomenon in India where everyone was just bringing her spoonfuls of milk and see if she was gonna slurp it. Spoiler alert, she did. Watch Ganesha slurp this milk. Look at her. Did you see her slurp that? The heck, Ganesha? When was the last time you drank some liquids? Cause you look thirsty. But I'd hate to see her face when somebody tells her that she's been drinking cow milk this whole time instead of elephant milk. Ugh, yeah, that's kind of awkward. People crowded around this temple from all around the country and fed Ganesha milk and more milk and more milk until she couldn't drink milk no more. It was a lot of milk. Thinking about it, somebody should probably give Ganesha Pepto-Bismol cause her stomach's gonna be sore. But anyway, some people in the country were pretty divided. Some of them thinking that this is a crazy miracle that happened. And others just thinking that the people who thought it was crazy are just crazy themselves. Because they didn't believe it. But either way, I say, good job, Ganesha. You got yourself a lot of free milk. All you gotta do next time is ask for some cereal and you're all set. Okay, this next one I'm about to tell you about is kind of weird, but family just... Try and bear with me. This is a statue of the Virgin Mary located somewhere in Argentina. And you might be like Alexia, she looks a little sad. She looks like she's been crying and her mascara's been running a little bit. Cause girlie's got raccoon eyes. But family, that's not runny mascara. That's blood. Yeah, like you know, the red ketchup stuff. The stuff you put on your hamburgers and hot dogs. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Apparently this cursed statue has cried real blood. Not once, not twice, not five times, 38 times. Like what the heck? That's weird and creepy and 
Did I mention weird? <gasps> I don't know what boyfriend hurt her so bad that she had to cry out ketchup from her eyes 38 times. But sounds like Lady's traumatized. Or maybe just really likes ketchup. Just think, whenever she orders nuggies now, she never has to ask for dipping sauce. Because she already got it on her face. It's called caring about the environment. Zero waste. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is live footage of the doll crying out that ketchup. And you can see there's literally nothing else around the statue that could be putting the blood there. Nothing's crying all by itself. This statue is owned by the Frias family. And apparently they say the statue's not actually cursed and that it's actually a miracle? Huh? One of the family members spoke out and said that the statue was actually given to her after she suffered a miscarriage. And then since April 2017, the doll just would not stop crying the blood. This led into people from all around the world coming to try and see the statue crying in action because they thought that it would bring them good luck. Y'all think that's crazy? Well, think again, family, because apparently this statue cured people of some tumors, cancers, and all other sorts of bad stuff. Like maybe they're hunger too. Because they might have got a lick of that ketchup on her face. <laughs> Actually, ew, that's nasty. Family, comment down below ketchup as the secret word in today's video, and I'll try and hurt your comment. Or maybe I'll just give you a bottle of ketchup, whichever one you prefer. Here are some very creepy statues at the bottom of the ocean in Granada. And apparently they just keep multiplying and multiplying. And more of them just keep popping up in the ocean every single day. And apparently they're all so alive too. This dude Jason declares Taylor decided that he wanted to build an underwater sculpture garden where he built these statues and instead of putting them on land he buried them in the ocean i mean why have people see them anyways when they can just be sucked on by fish instead so they kept making more and more statues and the garden got bigger and bigger and the garden actually became so popular that different scuba divers would specifically dive to this location so they can see all the cool creations but then over time the statues started growing all these weird underwater fish stuff on them like algae and other stuff like that and then apparently that's when the statues actually started becoming alive. Ooh. I mean, look at this picture of this statue. I can't tell if that dude grew two eyeballs or if it's just two giant fish eggs. Hmm, I'll have to double check that one. This is the golden blinking Buddha from Malaysia. And apparently somebody caught him on a phone camera, blinking his eyes, moving his lips, and even breathing. But the thing is, apparently they caught it back in 2011. And let's be real, back then the phone quality was garbage. So from the footage I'm about to show you, it's kind of hard to tell if he's actually blinking or it's just from all the pixelation of the video. This is the video right here, family. I don't know, you tell me. Do you think this blinking Buddha is actually blinking? Or do you think it's just crummy video quality? No, oh, I swear I think I just saw him blink. But actually, I don't know. But maybe, yeah. But I don't know. Oh, don't ask me, family. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think if he was blinking or not blinking. But anyways, family, that is all of the video I have for you today. Don't forget to enter my 24 days of Lexmas where you can win an iPhone 13 or a Nintendo Switch. All you gotta do to win is follow my Instagram down here and comment on my most recent Instagram photo done. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.